Hi, good morning, Annie. Good morning, Fred. Took a chance you might be here. Yeah, come on in and have a cup of coffee. Oh, thanks. Glad you asked. I was hoping you'd ask. Look at here. Ooh, you got one of them newfangled gourmet coffee makers. I, ah. I do. I haven't set it up yet. I haven't even opened the box yet. I see. But I got the gist of it, I think. Hmm. You uh, have these little cuppy things that yeah. has the coffee in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you put it in and you turn it on yeah. and that's all you do. It sort oh. of goes by itself and you have coffee. Oh, it's not like those all those old-fashioned things, but have a seat. You can have some coffee from my old-fashioned coffee pot. Well, thank you very much. And I, I had a cup of the caramel over at uh, Moonbucks the other day and it was pretty good. Yeah, Fred. Over, over at Moonbucks. Okay, we're watching our grammar, right? We're watching it these years. <laughs> you always was a grammarian, girl. <laughs> have to be with you, you know. I have to be, and I know you don't mind. You never did have a mind to having me correcting your grammar. Well, yeah, that's that. That's. True, but uh, uh, anyway, I'm glad to see you got that coffee mixer. Yeah. I hope it's good for next you. Next time when you come, or I hope there's a next time when you come, that we'll have coffee from that coffee maker. Now, what are you doing in town so early this morning? Well, uh, of course, coming to town will see you is real high on my list. Oh, oh. oh. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, not the only reason. I got a call from young Brian. Yeah. You know, I've been helping him yeah. with the Dillon's place. And uh, he he said that uh, even after all the work we've done on the pipes and the ducts and the windows, yeah. and sealing things up and yeah. all, he's still hearing noises, uh, whispers and moans and stuff like that. And... Uh, he said uh, he, that uh, people have been telling him there's supposed to be ghosts in there. Uh, and he doesn't care about that. He's a funny sort of fella. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he just asked if I'd come over and look around because he wants to make sure that we didn't miss anything right. when we were sealing the place up. So you're going over this morning? Yeah, yeah. Well, I heard tell all these years, you know, I'm sure you did too, that there's ghosts in that house. Yeah. I mean, that's not the only house in Cranberry Cove where there's ghosts. Mm. Um, I don't take to that all that, but I don't know. I just say I don't know. But I'd like to come along with you if I could. Sure. Don't see why not. I'm sure Brian wouldn't mind. And it'd kind of be like an adventure, you and me again, you know. We might even... Uh, Old hands. <laughs> well, I don't know about he that. Done that a well, long, I, don't, long I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about <laughs> that. But we, we could just go over together, right? Yeah, it'd be all right. But you know, talking about holding hands gets me all nostalgic. You know, you remember when we used to uh, frolic? Under that old magnolia tree out in the back there. Gosh, those were good times. Those were the best times of my life. I don't know why I ever let you get away. Well, I don't know about frolic, Fred. That's a funny word, frolic. For what we yeah. did back then, you know, we'd have been in big trouble had anyone ever found out. You, you would have been sent off to military school. I would have been sent off to the convent. I would have been Probably, what yeah. was called used goods. That's what my mom used to say. She said, you was used goods, but we never did get caught, did we? No, maybe we were just lucky. But, you know, today, nobody'd care. No. Uh, we'd be uh, maybe punished or maybe uh, been uh, grounded for a week yeah. or something like that. But you know, go back to school and all the guys would say, hey, you know, yeah. what was it like? You I know, know, I know. And That's the girls, yeah, girls, they would too. <laughs> you know, it's just like this here coffee maker. How times have changed. 
how people's opinions on morals and everything changed. People don't care anymore. People are nice to each other now, most of the time. It's like this here coffee maker. Things have really changed. You've changed and I've changed, but we're still around. Yeah, it's not like, you know, everything is so filled with guilt anymore. No, it's not. And I feel pretty good about that, don't you? Yeah, I do, you know. Makes me think, you know, there might still be time before we go to meet Brian for a little more frolicking under the magnolia tree. Oh, Fred, it's November, too.